Hello and welcome to the video for Thursday, April the 23rd. This is going to cover the homework uh, from our lesson working on units of weight. Um, so uh, again, we are working with pounds and ounces and tons. So I started the homework part by writing in our conversions that we're going to use and then we can kind of talk through things as I fill in the answers. So to start with, we are going to work with a few problems doing conversions. So a ton is worth 2,000 pounds, so I can multiply, and that's going to give me 12,000 pounds for my first one. Uh, the next one, I'm going to do 3,200 ounces divided by 16, and that should give me uh, 200 pounds. I don't know why I put a comma there. Number six, um, I can multiply 9 times 16. Um, so uh, 10 times 16 is going to give me 90. 9 times 6 is going to give me 54. Um, and then I can add those together, and that would give me 144. Number eight, I can multiply my number of pounds times 16 to get 1,600 ounces, or 1,600. Um, so for number 10, we are working with comparisons. And so um, one of the easier things that I would suggest is we don't have to exactly figure out the right answer um, because, uh, even though we could, because if it was 10 ounces to a pound, we would be equal, um, but it's going to be 16 ounces. So this side here is going to have to be uh, worth more than this side here. So we're going to use less than. Uh, number five, there are 2,000 pounds in a ton. Um, so right now we have two and a half tons on this side. We have five tons on this side, so it'd be less than. Uh, number 14, um, there are 16 ounces in a pound for weight. Um, a common mistake. Um, and which is one uh, that I occasionally make is thinking the eight ounces in a cup. Uh, so ounces for weight, we're counting 16 ounces for measurement of like um, liquids, we would use eight. Uh, so we're going to divide, that's going to give us uh, two in the tens place. Uh, we have 32. And so we can do one group of 16 uh, going into 30. And so we are going to have um, 25 pounds being larger than what we would get for our answer for this. And we can stop here. We don't have to keep going to figure out the exact amount. Um, so number 16, uh, we would multiply the number of tons uh, by 2,000 pounds. And that would give us uh, 6,000 pounds of gravel that was ordered. So number 18, I don't remember if I circled this. Um, I think some of you might have more trouble uh, figuring out things that are actually less than an ounce. So um, examples that I have lying around, um, this particular piece of paper um, would be less than an ounce. And then for some reason, I have a random earplug. Um, that little foam earplug should also be less than an ounce. Um, I have an Xbox controller, the um, back cover where the batteries go might be less than an ounce, but it might actually be more. So when we're talking about ounces, we're going to be talking about things that are very, very light um, and there's very, uh, very little mass to them if we want to relate it back to that. Examples for things that weigh more than a ton. So things that we have lying around inside a house that weigh more than 2,000 pounds probably not going to have anything. We're going to be looking at vehicles, so like a car or a truck or a school bus or an entire building uh, would weigh more than one ton. Um, the heaviest thing that I can think of that I have in my apartment um, is probably um, going to only be a couple hundred pounds um, and so I would need 10 of those all together um, to be able to equal one ton. Um, so going to the back, 
Um, we have a puppy that weighed 11 pounds at the vet vet's office if we multiply by 16. Um, so I can do uh, 10 times 16 to get 160, add another group of 16, that would give me 176 uh, in ounces. And then the weight limit on a bridge is 5 tons. What is this weight in pounds? Multiply by 2,000. That would give us 10,000 pounds. And so those are our problems for the homework. And I will have a new video for you guys on Friday. Um, again, I will be doing office hours on Thursday. Um, time pending on if I have any appointments and what time those would be. Um, but I will still be able to answer comments and questions in Google Classroom. So if you have any, please feel free to ask. I will be recording a new video probably on Thursday um, that will go out on Friday. And then the homework video for Friday will also go out uh, in Friday afternoon. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.